hospitality settings. It's the news this bar owner has been dreading. And in tier three, indoor entertainment, hotels and other accommodation will have to close along with all forms of hospitality. Manchester's in Tier 3, and Dean Mack will have to keep his bar in the city centre shut for what's usually the most profitable time of the year. It's simply heartbreaking. There are staff, musicians, the, the, you know, the public and general public of Manchester desperate to form some form of positivity out of this lockdown, out of this, this virus. And we were praying and hoping for Tier 2 to be able to enjoy some form of Christmas, and now it's been ripped from us. Dean and his partner have just finished this new ski chalet area especially for Christmas. Money possibly down the drain along with the £4,000 a week they're paying in bills while shut. We have to turn the lights off, shut it down and pray that people still want to experience this in January if we're allowed to open then. OK guys, so we've got 77 fine dining boxes going out today. Are we all set? We sure. Across the city, Chef Simon Wood's staff are busy sending out the home dining kits he's selling to keep his head above water while the restaurant remains shut. We're the fall guy. Despite being perfectly safe and doing everything that's been asked of us, only three weeks ago, this restaurant um, was full, it was safe, and now, three weeks later, I can't open despite the numbers coming down. Now, to me, that's knee-jerk and inconsistent. While Greater Manchester's infection rate is higher than many, it continues to fall and the region's mayor's hopeful of being moved to Tier 2 within weeks. On the facts alone, I can't disagree. Where I do disagree with the government is in the way they've constructed Tier 3, hitting hospitality extremely hard and in the decision not to give Tier 3 areas any more support than Tier 1 areas. So for those living in Tier 3 areas who are hoping for a festive evening out over the next few weeks, it'll be less we wish you a Merry Christmas and more Silent Night. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, Manchester.